Toad's Pond is located in the northeastern part of Cumberland County, a few miles from the town of Godwin. This Blackwater 460-acre Cypress Pond is equipped with a boat ramp and fishing piers. Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Recreation and the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission have partnered to bring programming to Rhodes Pond. Park Ranger Coordinator Rebecca Montaldo describes the various activities you and your family can enjoy. Rhodes Pond is located on the northeast corner of Cumberland County, just north of Godwin, off of Highway 301, also known as Dunn Road, and it's easily accessible from I-95. Rhodes Pond is approximately 460 acre black water cypress pond that is fed in from Black River, which originates in Harnett County. It shouldn't be confused with the Black River that originates in Sampson County. The water from Rhodes Pond de empties into Mingo Swamp, which eventually goes to South River. The North Carolina Heritage Program has designated this a regionally significant area because of the animals that live here, the plants that grow here, and the natural beauty. 1964 to 2005, it was owned privately by the Honeycutt family. But in 2005, it was sold to the state for preservation. It is now owned and operated by the North Carolina Wildlife Commission. Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Rec has been fortunate to partner with the North Carolina Wildlife Commission to bring programming to this area of the county. And to, and particularly, we do canoeing and other programs. But our canoes, are, our program is offered for eight years old and up. You have to be 12 and older to paddle. Our canoes are very stable. They have backrest for comfort. And there's a middle seat for those who are too young to paddle or just don't want to paddle. It's $10 per participant. We encourage beginners. Because of the stability of the canoes, we encourage senior citizens. We offer canoeing at least once a month, uh, Friday nights. We also have some holiday adventures, uh, Memorial Day and July 4th. If you want to schedule, you schedule come in Clark Park to schedule your trip. Well, residents can come out on their own and enjoy uh, the nice fishing pier ha that's handicapped accessible. Uh, they can do some bird watching. There are anhingas here, which are rare in North Carolina. There's little blue herons, which breed here. Great blue herons and uh, great egrets I've known to nest here. There's always osprey and hawks around and ducks. It's very good for bird watching. People can walk around, the, at least partly around the, the pond. Um, they can bring a fishing boat in if they have a trolling motor, no, mo no gas motors allowed, and there they can just come and enjoy the serenity and the beauty of the place. Today I was uh, crappie fishing and fishing for crappie and fly perch mostly this morning. Um, I normally comes out every chance I can get uh, throughout the week. So when I do get the opportunity to, to do anything for myself, this is what I do. And I come to Rose, it's very convenient to get here. Um, it's quiet, it's peaceful and fishing it just it just takes a lot of stress away from me. For, for those who don't know about this place I, I would encourage them to just uh, come check it out you know just come here and and try the crappie fishing and flyers and brims or whatever or just bring the family out period. Um, it, it, since the state took over it's, it really has turned into a wonderful place to be at. So The North Carolina Wildlife Commission has made significant improvements to the facility. They have completed the repairs on the spillway. They've added a floating handicap accessible fishing pier, a floating boat dock with a boat launch. Clark Park is planning on bringing in an evening astronomy program out here. We hope to do little special events and to attract school groups to do field trips. If you're interested in more information on the programming at Rhodes Pond through Clark Park, go to the Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Rec website at www.fcpr.us or you can pick up a Fayetteville Cumberland Parks and Rec activity guide at any of your neighborhood recreation centers or call Clark Park and we will be happy to help you. 
Yes, this is one of the hidden treasures of Cumberland County. There are lots of hidden treasures of Cumberland County, and I wish people would seek them out and do a little research, and they're gonna find a few of these treasures. <laughs>